y'all what is up it is marissa nicole here and welcome back to my drifting desk where i help you conquer college i am really getting used to seeing my sorority room and my background here so i'm like super excited to be here as y'all know i talk about it all the time but i'm gonna do it every video <laughs> today i'm gonna be giving y'all some tips and tricks on how to conquer your college lecture halls so basically giving you some tips on what to do before during and after you go to your lectures but before we start this video if there's anything that i say that helped you out or that you like please give this video a thumbs up that way i know it was helpful let's get into the video <laughs> All right, y'all, so before you go to your college lecture hall, a lot of these things I'm gonna say sound pretty obvious, but it's something that you really should be doing before every lecture. And the first tip I'm gonna give you is to read the chapters that your professor is going to be going over. So if tomorrow at lecture, my psychology professor is gonna be going over chapters 15 and 16, the night before or that morning, depending on what time your class is at, you should read chapter 15 and 16 and take notes on it. There are different ways to take notes in your textbook. If y'all just wanna do a skim, you know, like a light read through just so you get the gist of stuff, that is okay. If you want to do a full in-depth note taking, that is okay. If you want just jot down some key ideas that is also okay I did a separate video on you know just textbooks 101 so if y'all want to check that out I also talked a little bit about study tips in that video but you should at least at the bare minimum be reading the chapter this next tip might not be helpful for you but it depends on how you like to take notes if your professor provides the lectures online ahead of time I highly 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 suggest that you print those out ahead of time and take notes on them because they're already going to have the bulk of the information you need on those slides that way you can just draw arrows and add to as needed because a lot of the times your professor is going to go so fast if you're writing down full slides on a piece of paper you might not be able to get it all down in time and it's going to be very overwhelming while you're reading those chapters that are going to be talked about tomorrow if you don't want to take notes on them i would at least write down questions that you have like while you're reading through it if something is literally like right over your head make a note of it to make sure that your professor talks about it tomorrow because they might talk about it on their own but if at the end of the lecture they haven't even discussed it yet that's when you raise your hand and say hey i noticed this in the book can you go into more depth on this so i can understand it better or go to their office hours or talk to them after class if you don't feel comfortable speaking up in class this tip is more of like an annoying thing but also like a it's a good for you thing but before key word is before you go to lecture eat something one because it's really annoying to hear y'all eat when i'm trying to focus in lecture so don't bring food to lecture unless it's literally something soft that when you put it in your mouth it dissolves because either way you're eating chips you're gonna eat carrots you're gonna eat pretzels it's gonna be annoying don't be that person on a side note also eat before lecture that way you're not thinking about how hungry you are and your belly's not growling in the middle of lecture because that's also distracting to you and to people around you so make sure you're eating something that way you aren't that person in class and also eat something that way you aren't distracting yourself with the hunger your belly. My last tip in our before lecture hall column is to dress for success. And by that I mean, if you have an 8 a.m. class and then you have four classes after that and you dread those days because they're super long and you already hate them, you're gonna go to every class with that mindset and it's not gonna help you pay attention in class and it's not gonna help you learn. You need to be in the mindset of learning and you need to be in a positive mindset in order to get something positive out of your experience or your classes and your professors. A one way to do that is to just dress for success. Even though you know you're gonna have a stressful day, get up, put on a cute outfit, do your hair and do your makeup, that alone will just make you feel better about yourself and turn it into a positive day even though you know it's going to be a longer day. So all of those things that we just talked about you should be doing before you go to lectures either the night before or the day of depending on what time your lecture is at. Now I want to get into what you should be doing while you're in lecture. First things first is you need to turn your cell phone off. Airplane mode, put it in your book bag, turn it off, do something, get it out of your face. If you can't last 55 minutes without your phone or an hour and 20 minutes without your phone, we have a problem. This next tip is definitely a no-brainer but a lot of people don't do this and that is you should be taking notes during lecture like for sure 100% however you want to do it. If you want to do it on your laptop, if you want to do it writing down, you need to take notes during lecture. Like I mentioned before I did film a textbooks 101 video that kind of talked more about taking notes or studying out of your textbook and I did mention how to combine your textbook notes with your lecture notes so if that's something that you're interested in doing that way you know how to keep everything a little more organized than having like eight different notebooks for the same class check out that video because I go a little bit more in depth into that my number one tip to you to help you stay attentive and just be engaged in class is to sit up front you'll be less likely to get on your phone or surf the web or do something you're not supposed to be doing if you're up front because the professor is right there in your face and you'll feel bad so I always sit up front it keeps me engaged it keeps me on my toes and forced to be on my toes because they're walking right here They're gonna see me if I pull my phone out They're gonna see me if I'm knocked out drooling all over the table This next point a lot of people don't feel comfortable doing but it is super helpful So you need to do this whether it's in lecture or after lecture at office hours You need to ask questions when you don't understand something ask about it because I can guarantee you if you have a question about it There's a lot of other people that also have questions about it So once you've gone to lecture and you've done all those things that we just talked about and you're going home for the day There's also some things that you should be doing after your lecture to help retain 
gain all that information and to just follow up with all of that information per class. And the first thing that you should be doing, depending on how you take notes, is going through and reviewing your notes or highlighting your notes. I take all of my notes in just plain black pen because again, your professor is going too fast for you to switch between eight different pens because you want to color code vocab words and people and then dates and then important conferences and stuff. It's too much time and you don't have it. So I always just do a black pen and then when after lecture and I get home, I'll take colored markers or highlighters and I'll highlight key things like vocab words or people in different colors and that's how I like to organize my notes. But it also helps me review those notes at the end of the day because I'll have to read through them and decide what's worthy of being highlighted. Like I mentioned before, if you're too scared to speak up during class, now is your time to go to office hours or go to studering, studering, or go to your TA's office hours or go to a study group, something like that. After lecture is when you should be definitely following up on all those things that you didn't understand if you didn't feel comfortable in class. Or once you're at home and you've looked over your notes and then you're like, wow, wait, I don't understand this. My number one tip to you is do the homework or quiz or whatever you're supposed to do of that information that night while it's fresh in your brain. Even if that assignment isn't due for another two weeks, do it now because it's going to be easier. And finally, the last thing that you definitely should be doing after all of this hecticness that we call college is eating a good dinner and getting your sleep. A lot of people will stay up and study until three o'clock in the morning or pull all-nighters or just cram, cram, cram before exams and that's not a way to retain information. Those are all my tips for conquering your college lecture hall and those are things that I do on a daily basis for all of my classes and so far has helped me a ton. But if you are an upperclassman or if you're just another student that you found something else has worked, please post that down below. Help each other out. Let each other know what's worked for you. Again, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if I did mention anything that you want to try out or that was helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below. Pretty, 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 please. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. I will see you next time. Bye. If I'm not